Beautiful day out here. Welcome. Welcome one and all. Got my trailer. Pipe burst trailer. I got most of the stuff out of it because we've been working here getting the uh, trenches dug. I skipped the boring part. We've decided, with my insistence, we're going to use trench boxes this time. So here's a cable kind of getting ready, preliminary stuff kind of, so we can get that out of the way. Here's our one trench that comes out of the house, like under slab down there. What's up? Hey, how you doing? doing all right. Good. Do you happen to have a spare key to my car? So we got this dug up. The soil is much softer than we're usually used to, so I'm gonna say trench boxes are uh, a must in any case, but these guys have been used to using zero, zero trench protection at all. So I had to talk them into it, but it's okay. It's okay. Out here in Hicksville, redneck backwoods town of Ohio, you know, get used to doing one thing for 40 years and, you know, Dad always did it this way and whatever, whatever, and time to upgrade, time to get with the times and be it safe. Time to be safe. All right, so we got right there, hard to see. I'm gonna try to zoom in so we can't get a better, clear picture. So we're not completely whitewashed with the light around us. So that's a six inch clay. Kind of comes in at a slight angle, but uh, just past that, it'll, it straightens out. Push the cable through that, and that's where we're gonna start our pipe burst. And then, uh, as you can see, I got my PVC stubbed out already from under the slab of the basement. I did that a couple weeks ago to get ready. Let's go down there and take a look. So I think I've got it dug out just enough. Like I said, I was here a couple weeks ago. Cut it open to get ready for it, dug it down, get a, get a floor drain here. We're going to join up to the main branch. It'll be all brand new from here to the street. So everything underground will be brand new. If I need to do something with the old stuff, it'll be all above ground. We've got ABS until about here, and that is cast. You come back, uh, who knows how long it'll last. You know, at some point in time, I know it will go out. But... The important thing is, under the slab will be replaced, all brand new. I think I'm going to put a backwater valve, and then once I get that all done, like I said, a floor drain, get some stone, and then pour new concrete. Look at this. So, if anybody knows the history of this house around here, again, this is North Main Street, Findlay, Ohio. I believe this here... This sign was out in front on a pole when it used to have uh, when, when it used to be an antique shop, and then I th believe this is actually a neighbor's sign because they both used to be antique shops. So um, that's kind of cool. Second trench box for back here on the back side of the house is getting offloaded as we speak.
it's underneath the roller. That's why I said that railroad tie is enough more to bring it up. Put that railroad tie here, that'll take some up, bring some more. We're gonna see what happens. Start to feed the cable in, start to feed the pipe in. You can see the head right there. I'm hoping this is gonna work with the trench box kind of helping it form a curve so it can then flatten out down at the bottom. A little hard to see the sun is really washing everything out. It might uh, lift up in the trench box a little bit, but that's okay. And it's popping apart the clay right there, you can see it. This will be good. This will be perfect. It's perfect. This will be real good. Let it curvature itself around in there. I kind of want it this way so that it's not coming at a funny steep angle going down. We're taking care of the angle back here and then it's going to flatten out and keep it at a better grade. So if you hadn't caught before, it is pulling this pipe in directly underneath us so we don't have to dig up this entire length of pipe right along the house underneath this walkway, underneath the neighbor's fence, none of that. Hydraulic hose leaking? All right. Got it. Coming. It's all muddy.
hot? Hydraulic oil hot. Yeah, hydraulic oil get hot. Yep. All right, so we're all the way out. All the way out, we're disconnecting the cable. Some mud? Okay. Need a bucket? I mean it need a shovel. Mud, that's what Yep. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that, that worked real good. Thank you. <laughs> Sharing the love, man. <laughs> I hope it splattered all over you. Yeah. I think you got the worst of it. No more mud did over here. back fills done put a few of these stepping stones kind of back where they came from this is just going to take forever to settle I we'll have to move it around once it's settled flatten it out maybe put some stone here or grass I've decided back filling out here at the street it's all she wrote oh yes there is a clean out this is kind of buried by the uh, dirt so there's definitely a clean out right there <laughs> 